All right, welcome back. Today we're gonna to go over isotonic and isometric contractions. This topic trips a lot of students up, mainly because they don't fully understand the topic or they're switching these two up. The reason this trips a lot of students is because when you learn this, they don't really give real life examples. They probably just show you a picture of a muscle, explain the differences, and that's it. But you can't really apply it to real life. They don't tell you. You're really not understanding how to apply it to real life. And that's what I'm going to do here. So it, it helps you better understand what's going on. So let's begin. The two types of contractions a skeletal muscle can do is one is called isotonic contraction and the other is an isometric contraction. The prefix iso means same or equal. Tonic means tone. And metric, think about length or size. So let's do the first one. Isotonic contractions. What does this mean? An isotonic contraction is when the muscle is shortening during a contraction. The best example I can think of is bicep curls. When you go to the gym and you pick up a dumbbell, before you actually start curling it, you know, your muscle is this length, your bicep is this length. Then you actually contract it. You lift, up the you lift up the dumbbell. Your muscle actually shortens in length. That's why you notice that little pump. It gets bigger when you do the contraction. It kind of bulges out here. That is an isotonic contraction. Another one is sit-ups. When you're doing sit-ups, you are shortening the length of your ab muscles. So during the contraction, there are shortening. That's what an isotonic contraction is. Is that just basically the muscle shortens when contracting. On the other hand, an isometric contraction is when the muscle stays the same length during the contraction. So iso means same, and metric means length. So it's literally the same length. You're probably wondering how can you actually contract a muscle without changing the length? That, that sounds impossible, right? No, it actually is. Planks is a good example. When you're doing a plank, you'll probably notice that your abs are burning. You know, if you've been doing it for like a minute or so, or it depends how fit you are. But you, you'll, at some point, you'll notice that your abs are burning. You're not shortening the length of the abs. However, you're basically using your abs to stabilize yourself. You're, that means you are you are contracting your abs, but they're not shorting in length. That's an isometric contraction. Another one is pushing against something. Say you have a concrete wall, and you're pushing against it. You are exerting force. Since you're exerting force, you are using your muscles, but they're not shorting in length. So you're triceps or deltoids or whatever muscle you're using to push, they're not shortening in length. So here I drew a diagram here just to show that, you know, this is like a tricep extension and it's basically staying the same length throughout the entire movement. So a lot of people get this mixed up, these two mixed up. The reason is, is most likely is that they're on exam and they kind of, you know, of course they're nervous, and they see the word isometric and they immediately think size oh then it must be that the it has to you know shorting this shorting the length of the muscle because it's is metric in there that's not correct you have to remember the prefix means same so it literally says same size so the muscle is the same size so please be careful in an exam when you know to answering these type of questions because a lot of people swap these they always think that oh this must be an isotonic contraction this is an isometric contraction because we're, sh we're shortening the length the length is changing no, no 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 be careful this means isometric is a same length contraction and isotonic is a different length contraction so the muscle shortens when contracting on an exam, we're like, we're, the best thing to do is think about these exercise movements in real life. What's actually happening to the muscle? 
And so if you if they were to ask you, give an example of an isotonic contraction. So first you think, okay, the muscle is changing in length. What is an exercise I can do that can change the length of a muscle? Oh, bicep curls. Give an example of an isometric contraction. Planks. Your abs. You're on the floor, and you're, like I said, you're exerting force onto the floor. Your abs are burning, but you're not shortening the length of the abs. They're used for stabilizing. So that's an isometric contraction, same, staying the same length. I hope these real-world examples kind of helped you out enough to understand these topic, this topic. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. Until next time, later.